In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an incredible offensive scheme out of the gun type formation in Madden 23, and you can use this format to create your own Madden scheme, whether it be out of gun type or any other formation in this game. Now, guys, we're going to be taking a look today at gun type, and we're in the Washington Offensive Playbook. If you're watching this video and you want to get my entire gun type offensive ebook, make sure to join my Patreon. The link will be down in the description. $10 will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So gun tight, I think, affords us a lot of different opportunities in the offensive, um, as, as far as offense goes in this year's game. I actually think this formation is good year in and year out because it attacks man coverage so well. And we're going to be talking today about how do you create an actual good, um, well-rounded offensive scheme that checks a lot of the boxes. One of the first steps to creating a good offensive scheme in Madden is to have a power play. This is a play that you can rely on. This is a play that you can count on. And the play we're going to be using for this from gun tight is going to be the play slot post. I believe that slot post is the most consistent play in this formation. It's a play that you can count on and you can run again and again and again. Put simply, if you had to run one play in this game, um, if you could only use one play in your offense, what would it be? If I was running gun tight, I think slot post is that play for me. Might not be that play for you. It might be drive corner. It might be bench. It might be some other play. But you have to decide for yourself, what is your number one play? Now, in this series of videos, we're going to show you several different really good plays out of gun tight. But we're going to start with slot post. I believe this is the foundational play. So, so why is this play so good? Why is gun tight so good, right? Um, it's because it's so good against main coverage, and main coverage is the predominant and overwhelming meta in the game right now. So the way that we're going to set this up is actually super, super simple, and I'm going to give you two different methods. Um, the man-beating method is to take this left side um, this left side slot receiver and putting him on a corner route what you're going to notice is if you do that you're going to see here that this corner route can kind of get into a soft spot against the main coverage now if you don't have slot apprentice you don't have the ability to do that then simply put just put him on a slant or put him on a, a streak now another thing you're noticing with this formation is let's say that the the defense aligns like this one of my favorite little tricks is to take George Pickens or the slot receiver and put him on a streak. And the reason why is because he's not going to get pressed. And so it's not going to mess up the timing. And then we are going to slant that left side receiver. We're going to motion out this right side um, little wide receiver. And I love to wheel my running back. And what you're going to notice here is we're going to get some really good free releases. And this route right here to the tight end is probably the best man beating route in all of Madden 23. Um, just in terms of what it can do for you from a man beating perspective. Now, some other cool little fun things and variations that we can do with this is we can motion this player out on a, on a C route because he's unbumpable a lot of times. He's still going to clear out zones, which I'll show you that real quickly. Um, you know, But you can do a lot of different variations depending on what your opponent is doing. One of the other things that you're going to see here is, let's say that they align like this. This is a little bit more of kind of a standard uh, style alignment. One of my favorite things to do is to take this left side receiver, put him on a streak, leave this little slot receiver route, or put him on a slant, and then we're going to run this motion setup just like so. What this is going to do here is now your streak is going to get kind of basically glitched off of the line and you can highball and freeform that up and over the top. You see how we have that little window over the top against man coverage. Now, as I said, a power play needs to be a play that you can call again and again and again. One of the most popular plays that people are going to go to when they notice that you can start to attack man coverage is they're gonna go to some type of cover four. This is where when you get a look like this, I love to streak this slot receiver and then put the slant underneath it because that slot receiver is going to get upfield and clear out zones quicker than um, than the other than the other clear out route would. We're still going to motion this guy out. We're still going to put the wheel out here. All of those things still stay the same. But now the main thing here is we can throw this little high ball right in behind the yellow zones and right in front of the deep blue zones. So this post route becomes something that they basically have to use or defend. And then the problem with that is let's say they use her to defend the post. Now let's say that they're in zone and they use her to defend the post. This little wheel route to Cooper Cup is going to act almost like a clear out route. And you can highball your running back kind of in that, in that little soft spot right there. I'll show you that again. Um, but you can kind of highball that running back. I'll put a cover three on the field. Cover three, cover four. Either way, you're going to be able to basically put this running back route where only your running back can get it. And then this route to Cooper Cup is going to serve as kind of a clear out route. So you see here, just highball that once that flat zone kind of turns to the outside. And you see that we can hit this pretty easily against uh, zone coverage. 
Now, even if they don't baseline and that flat is coming from the inside, all you have to do is wait on it just a little bit. Okay, so if you just wait just a little bit, you're going to see eventually that flat's going to turn outside. If it doesn't, then you have this backside slant as kind of a check down against any kind of drop eight coverage. Now, the other thing that's going to happen is they pretty much have to user, um, they pretty much have to user your tight end post route. I'm going to show you this against match coverage. Again, the power play is a play that you need to be able to run consistently against pretty much any meta. Now, we can also kind of adapt this play. So in this example, we could block the running back. Or if we wanted to, instead of putting the running back on a wheel route, we could put the running back on a block and release route, one of my favorite things. And what you'll notice here is against match against that match coverage, you've got that tight end post, and you've got that slant coming over the middle. Now, if you remember back to the beginning of the video, I talked about how their user is going to basically have to go and guard the tight end post. So if their user decides, hey, I've got to go guard the tight end post, then you're going to get yourself into a position where this slant on the left side is going to be wide open. So you see here, my slant route, he looks like he's going to guard it, then he'll drop away from it. And as you can see, the slant is going to be open for a big play against the match coverage meta. So as you can see here, we can attack a lot of different things within this defense or within this formation, within this power play. The hallmark of a good power play is something that you can run again and again and again. And if you want to learn more about this offense, make sure to join my Patreon. The link is down in the description.